here at Coach Store here, and this is gonna be your full body resistance band cardio workout. So we're gonna hit cardio, we're gonna get a lot of reps in today, we're gonna get the heart rate up, and you're gonna need a resistance band, maybe even two mini loop style, okay, like so. So something a little more challenging for the lower body, something a little more challenging for the upper body, but if you only have one, that's okay, just join me. We're gonna jump right into it here in just a moment. This is also workout number 11 of the push-up challenge, so if you're following along, welcome, welcome, you're almost there. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, head on over to my website and you can print it off, follow along there, start from the beginning. Otherwise, quick introduction of the workout, we're gonna work through seven different exercises today in a circuit style. So we're gonna knock out all seven exercises before we loop, loop back to the top again. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. That is it, no long-term rest breaks unless you need to pause the video, all right, to get it in. But that's how we're gonna do this workout for today. So high rep, high endurance style of work. So pick a band appropriately, like I said, if you have some options, or just have them all nearby, all right. but. That's going to be how we're working today, so seven different exercises. They might look a little long-winded or like you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, but that's okay. All right, don't worry. All right, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. And I'll show you what we're doing as we move along. So everything's pretty simple. All right, once you see it demonstrated. Are you ready? Let's jump right into our warm-up. As always, please modify however you need to for your body. This is your workout. You know your body best. You know your limitations, so please adjust as needed. I'll offer modifications along the way. This is a cardio workout, so I feel like I'm talking so fast. So, <laughs> so I want you to please all right, adjust however you need to if you need impact modifications. Right, I'll show those. I'll offer modifications for common injuries like knee issues, shoulder issues, impact, okay, things of that nature. But if you need something a little more specific, please just do it or find a happy medium. All right, usually I can show a little variety depending on how complex the move is. So don't you worry, whatever level at you're at, you're gonna get a good workout in. I just want you here and ready to rock and roll. So get your game face on. You're in it to win it now. <laughs> You're stuck with me for the next 30-ish minutes. <laughs> All right, so like I said, mentally prepare yourself. We're gonna go 28 minutes, all right, without breaks today. All right, no, that's a lie. 28 minutes without long breaks. So only 15 seconds of rest. Keep in mind that 15 seconds is also gonna be transitional time. So you might need to move the band a little bit. Not a lot, I'm not gonna have us doing a ton of like band off, band on, hands, lower body, stuff like that, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> okay, so, but it's not gonna be a long break, so if you're gonna need a long break at some point, you might want to pause the video for your quick drink of water if you need to. All right, that's totally fine with me. All right, you know how things go here. And as a part of the push-up challenge, we're gonna be working quite a bit of push-ups for today. So, in a variety of formats, you can of course use a bench or a chair to modify if you need to elevate yourself. Good, let's hold that down dog to knee tuck. Down dog to knee tuck. All right, so of course, like I said, you can modify with a bench or a chair or just use your knees for your push-ups. Let's lower down, lift the chest, press up. Lower down, lift the chest, press up. You don't need to be an expert at push-ups to do the push-up challenge. In fact, it's designed, if you are not one, to help try to get you there. So, otherwise, you guys, quick drink of water if you need it. And then we're gonna jump right into that workout. So, grab your band, grab your water, grab your mental string, and we're gonna go. All right, you guys. So, I'm gonna demonstrate our first move before I hit my timer, it's gonna start pretty quick. But we have a row and side kick. So we're gonna start with our light upper body band. You're gonna pull it in as you come up with the side kick. So chamber, shoot, chamber, down, reset. So you'll, those hands will stay out in front. Feel chamber as you kick. I have a bit of a hip injury I'm fighting off, so I'm probably not gonna kick too hard or too fast on this side. You could also just come up with a leg lift if you're not very kickboxy. All right, so it's up to you. Otherwise, get ready. Get rocking and rolling. We're starting in 10. All right, so like I said, pull it in tight. 
as you shoot that leg out. You could do cross body, oops, or you could do same side. Let's go. So side kick and row. So pretty non-impact here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If you have not already, we're here for 45 seconds. Like I said, I'm gonna kick a little low on that injured side. Kick through that heel, pull your toes back. Really focus on getting that band close to the rib cage. All right, I want those hands about shoulder height, and you're gonna pull down, really activate that lat. Remember, it's 45 seconds of work, so it's not a sprint, but it's a nice, steady, high rep pace. Boom, 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 boom. Good, chest high, eyes up. We're almost there, five, four, three, two, and one, rest. All right, heavy band, heavier band. Put it around your legs, just above the knees. Not on the knees, above the knees. We're gonna drop down, squat, then a shuffle. Let's go. Squat, shuffle. So you can just do one shuffle, if that's all you have room for. I'm kind of hinging a little bit. Like I said, I have this bit of a hip injury, so just trying to be mindful. So I don't put myself out of commission. Good. So we want to get deep in that squat. Drive those knees apart. Come up, shuffle, shuffle. Maintain distance between those knees. You can step, step. Step, step. Step, step if you need to take that impact out. So drive those knees out, especially during your squat. Good. And if you feel like your heart rate's getting too high, all right, you're getting too winded, just slow down a little bit and rest. Band stays where it's at. We're gonna get on the floor. We're gonna do one push up, two, three uh, plank jacks. All right, so one push up, three jacks. Let's go. Push up, if you're gonna step, just do two jacks. Push up, jack, jack. Right away, you can use your knees and then hop for your jacks or you can use your knees and just step for your jacks. All right, so whichever variation you wanna find, that works for you. Something you can maintain for the full 45. Good. We got 15 seconds. Woo! Soft bend in those knees at all times. Good, you got it, you guys, come on. Three, two, and one rest. All right, on your feet. Get rid of that band. Grab your light one. We're gonna go chest press, chest press. Front kick, front kick. Let's go. Press, press, front, front. Press, press, front, front. Maintain that shoulder width distance and keep those elbows locked in behind you. So you really get a good resistance out of your chest press. Boom, boom. You can add a little skip with your front kicks, or you can just come up with a leg lift if you're not into the kicking. Boom. Boom, boom. Front kick, front kick. Punch, punch. Front kick, front kick. Three, two, and rest. All right. Let's get that band back around the knees. Not around the knees, I lied. Just above the knees. All right, we'll be here for a few more reps. So we have skip knees. So you're gonna come up, knee, step down, other side steps back. Knee, down, back. Knee, down, back. Knee, down, back. And then you can just kind of come up and shuffle. Up and shuffle. So it's up to you, you can maintain the steps or a little more speed, a little faster, a little more fluid, skip knees. Boom, boom. If you're not moving, let's go. We already started. 15 seconds, you guys, let's go, come on. Drive that knee in. Let's use those arms, get that full body cardio. Two, one, and rest. All right, again, band stays here. We're gonna touch that floor, boom, 
So sorry. So that floor, just like a hinge. Half or step your feet together, and then half or step them apart, other side. Touch, touch, let's go. Touchdowns, lateral touchdowns. Whether you're stepping or hopping. I want that weight in your heels when you reach for the ground. If you can't actually touch the floor, for whatever reason, that's okay, just reach. Work through a hinge. Good. You got it, you got it. I know we're moving quick, but come on. If you're not new here, what else did you expect? <laughs> Get ready. You got five seconds left, turn it up. Almost there. Three, two, one, and on the floor. Again, band stays where it is. And then we're gonna put that band in our hand. All right, so, moving on. Woo! We're gonna do one push up, and then four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Begin. So again, you can push up on your knees if you need to, and then just step out those mountain climbers. This is a more modified. And then, if not, push up, run up. Keep it up. I want those elbows tight to the body. Fingers are spread out nice and wide. Again, I'm compromising a little bit because of this hip. So hold your plank strong. And rest. All right, so we're gonna go back. This is round number two. So first round down, back to the hands, grab your light band. I think what we'll do, I'm gonna switch it up on us a little bit, just so we don't have to switch around as much. Let's begin, we have row and side kick. Boom, boom, I gotta keep them both low. My brain just can't do, ah, my brain can't do it. One low, one high, too much. Good, look how I'm pulling. Back and down, back and down, boom. Really activate that lat, boom. Shoulders down away from the ears. Woo! Good, you gotta, you gotta stay with it. I know the shoulders might be on fire. You can do it. Rest. Woo! All right, so next we have punch. Punch or chest press, chest press, and two front. Okay, so I know we did that later, but that way you don't have to switch. You only have to switch one time. All right, let's go. Chest press, chest press, front kick, front kick, chest press, chest press, front kick, front kick. Again, you can just come up with a swing if you'd like. I know it feels a little slow, but remember, we're getting a little more resistance in that upper body. If you don't have a light band, and the band you have is too heavy to do the upper body with, just do it unweighted, right? No problem. Nothing in the hands, nothing on the legs. Almost there, you guys. Stay with me. Come on. Two, one, and rest. All right, next. Grab your leg band <laughs> above the knees. We have our squat and then shuffle. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat, one or two shuffles, step, or with a little hop. Again, get as deep in your squat as you can. Drive those knees apart. I am hinging a little bit, I'm sure you can see it. Try not to hinge. Okay, I'm only doing that because it's my hip, okay? So I want you to try to get deep in your squat with your chest high, rather than hinging with your hips high. Good, you got it, you guys, come on. Stay with it. I know you're feeling it. Three, two, one, rest. All right, on the ground. We're gonna do one push up, 
three plank jack. So feet are hopping apart and together. If you're stepping to modify, just do two. One, two, three, two, one, let's go. Push up down on the hands or on the feet or on the knees. Right, so you could do your push up on your knees and then do your jacks on your toes or push up on the knees, jacks on the knees. Right, like so. It's up to you. All right, keep pushing it. Just keep a nice tension on that band at all times. Belly in tight. Good. Good, you got it. Come on. Woo! Let's finish strong. And rest. All right, on your feet. Woo! We have skip knees. So again, knee comes in. That leg steps straight down. Other leg steps back. Straight down. Switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Or once you find your rhythm, you'll just slide those legs. So knee up, and I'm just gonna slide, knee up, slide, boom, boom. And let's reach those arms up, pull the opponent in. Boom, boom. Get that full body cardio. Good. So I like to see, you got it, come on. Step it up, 15 seconds. Almost there. Stay strong, come on. Let's finish the circuit. Two, one, and rest. All right, two moves, and then we're halfway through the workout. All right, lateral touchdowns. So again, stepping or hopping, touch that floor, the feet together, other side, okay? So step or hop. Just hinge to a depth that works for you. Let's go. Again, when you touch that floor, make sure it's a hinge, like so. Nice flat back. Push those hips back. If you want more booty out of it, more glutes, get a nice wide stance. Wide stance. Wide stance. You're gonna target those small upper glute muscles. Good. 10 seconds left, come on. Turn it up, turn it up. Yeah, I love it when those feet burn, come on. And rest. All right, on the floor. Next set of push-ups. One push-up, four mountain climbers. Running or stepping it, okay, it's up to you. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's begin. Push up. One, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And even if you're in your knees, one, two, three, four. Right? You really need to stay on your knees. One, two, three, four. I know it might feel a little silly, but you can do it. Belly in. Strong, deep core activation. Good. Stay with me, you guys. Come on. You got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, halfway. If you need a drink, you need a little extended break, now's your time to pause the video. Try to keep it to about 30 seconds. Light band in hand. Row with a side kick. So get ready. Here I come. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hold it down in front of you. Side kick as you row, or just you can do a leg swing. I think maybe I'll stick with a leg swing today. Boom. Good. Again, we're trying to pull down low. All right, we're pulling low. We want to really activate that back. We're not here. Okay. Stay strong. Get a nice big stretch through that band. Boom. Chest high, eyes up. Again, I know it feels a little slower. Use this time to catch your breath. But the upper body is doing a lot more work right now. Comparatively. Two and one rest. Whew. All right. 
Remember, this is round number three. We have one more after this and you're done. It's flying by. All right, moving on. Chest, chest, front kick, front kick, or again, just a leg lift. Okay, let's go. Chest, chest, front, front. Chest, chest, front kick, front kick. Keep that band proud, tight, taut over the chest. Boom. Let's keep that activation outwards. Really keep our back working. Good. Punch. Chest, chest. And what I love about this with the band is because we have to get that outward tension too, we're keeping the back active and we're getting a lot of shoulders out of it too. Boom, boom, like those delts. So this is a nice BOGO type of exercise and rest. All right, back to our heavy band. I hope your arms aren't burning out too fast. I just figured that's easier than having to switch a couple times. I tried to time it so it seemed even, but I think this is better. All right, squat and shuffle. Let's go. Squat, shuffle. So one or two shuffles, step or hopping. Get low in your squat. You don't have touch floor, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Try to keep those hands at your chest. Good. Sit deep in your squat. Good. Stay with it. I know it's burning. I know those calves are on fire. Maybe your feet are feeling it. But you got to stay with me here. We'll be on the floor next. You got it. Five seconds left. Come on. Turn it up just a little bit. And rest. All right. Back on the ground. You know, I'll mix it up since we're halfway through the workout. All right, one push up, three jacks. All right, if you're stepping, again, step, step, just two. Three, two, one, let's do it. Push up, one, two, three. Push up, one, two, three. Good, you got it, you guys, come on those hips level with the shoulders, eyes up. Push through those hands, push through those knuckles, not just the wrists. Dig those fingertips and move forward. Good. Eyes up. Don't look at your feet. They're working. And rest. On your feet. Let's go. I know, no dilly-dally, no time to waste. Okay, moving on. Whew, we have those skip knees. So alternating sides as we knee. All right, again, step down, other leg steps back. Let's go. And then work those upper arms, or er, <laughs> work that upper body. Your upper arms, only your upper arms. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Good, notice you're getting that ab work in, so when you crunch, boom, really squeeze. Those abdominals, boom, boom, boom. Getting a nice tuck in through the pelvis. Pelvic tilt. <laughs> good, good. 10 seconds. Turn it up, let's go. Two. Ha. Ha. Make some noise. Ha. 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 And rest. All right. Oh, I gotta fix my band. I'm rolling. I'm rolling away. All right. Lateral touchdowns. Okay? So, again, start with those feet together. Step or hop. Your feet apart and together. Touch that floor. Let's go. I want you to keep that weight in the heels when you reach. You want more glute? Wider stance. Boom. Wider stance. Calls more activation through that glute. Good, good. Stay with it. Excellent job, you guys. Come on. Give me 10 more seconds here. Let's speed it up. What are you working for? Come on. You're tough, you're strong. Don't even think about quitting. Three, two, and rest. 
All right, last move of the circuit. One push up, four climbers. All right, like I said, I'll try with them. One push up, four climbers, then we're on our feet, starting our fourth and final round in three, two, one, let's go. One push up, one, two, three, four. Push up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Stay with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. You got it, you guys. Come on. Push hard. One, two, three, four. Almost there. Woo! I know it's getting tough. I can feel it too. Deep breaths and rest. All right, quick, band off. Fourth and final round. It's time to toughen up and show me what you're made of. Grab your light band. We got a row with our sidekick. Get ready. In three, two, one, let's go! Fourth and final round. You got it. Again, try to add a little, a little extra focus to the row. Make sure you're Stabilizing with the long arm, keeping it locked in place, pulling the elbow far, far back. Wrist comes low towards the hip. Feel those lats. Activate. Woo! You got it, come on. I know I'm burning too. Woo! Five seconds left. Come on, stay with me. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, it is not temperature controlled in this room at all. Barely. So it's quite hot and humid. All right, we have our double chest press, double front kick in three, two, one. You got it, let's go. Again, you can just leg lift with a straight leg if you would like to instead. Good, hands locked behind you. Good, again, pull those elbows together behind you. Boom, boom, punch straight out. Don't let that band pull you in. Keep it nice and long, directly in front of your shoulder. Sorry, trying not to come off camera. Woo, 15 seconds. Good, you got it, you guys. Stay with it, come on. Two, one, and rest. All right, last switch of the workout. Grab your heavy band, your lower body band. Put it just above those knees. All right, and we're moving on to our squat shuffle. Chest high, butt low. Let's go. Squat, one or two shuffles, skipping or stepping. Again, just work to a depth of squat that's good for you. I'm going a little shallow today. But I want you to still drive those knees out as you squat. What I like about the band, there's a lot of like hidden corrective work. Because we're using engagement and activation in different ways than we normally do. Good. 10 seconds, let's go. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, on the floor. One push up, three plank jacks. I know you're tired. I know you're feeling that burn. Do not think about stopping. You made it this far. What for? Let's go. Get started. One push up, three jacks. Two if you step. Good. Try to keep those hips level with the shoulders. Eyes ahead of you. Elbows tight to that body. Come on. Push up master here. Let's go. Woo! If you want to show off those guns, you got to put a little power behind it. Come on. Boom. Good, excellent work, you guys. Two and one, rest on your feet. 
All right, moving on. We got three moves left, you guys. That's three minutes left. And then our cool down. We have our skip knees. I want you to give me just a little extra effort on this one. A little extra effort in three, two, one. Let's go, come on. Again, step, step. Or you're skipping. Work those arms. Drive that knee in, drive. Drive, drive. Good, you got it. Stay with me, come on. Good. Tuck that pelvis. Draw your belly button in. Make some noise. You got it. Two, one, and rest. Okay, last two moves. Lateral touchdowns. Again, reach left floor as deep as you can. Nice wide step. Get that booty work in. All right, stepping or hopping. Let's do it. Even if you're stepping, you can get that cardio on. You're keeping it quick. Boom. Again, we want to drive those knees outwards. Oops. Ooh, not feel good. Good, stay with me, you guys, come on. How tough are you? How tough are you? Come on, pick it up a little bit more. I said a little bit more, let's go. 10 seconds. Good, good. Finish strong. Here for three, two, and one, rest. All right, on the ground, we have one push up. Four mountain climbers. I'll face this way. Then you're done for the day. That's the workout. Let's bring it home in three, two, one. Let's go. One push up and one, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. Try to be a little faster each time. Good. Everything you got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. Good. Finish strong, you guys. Ignore that muscle burn. Ignore that muscle burn. It's making you stronger. Let's go. Push through it. Your body can do it. Your mind has to be convinced. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Take out those bands. I'm going to give you a water break before I cool down. Go ahead, quick drink of water. Whew. All right, you guys, killer job. Excellent work. Let's just side to side crisscross. If you enjoy this workout when you're done, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to make more like this. Or let me know in the comments if there's something else you want to see or see more of. All right, or maybe you liked it, but you want to see a different style of programming or what have you, right? Maybe you're like, oh, I love the resistance cardio, but can you do it in Tabata? Or could you do it with also another piece of equipment? What have you, okay? So <laughs> just communicate, let me know, and subscribe if you have not already. That way every time I post a new workout, you'll be notified, and then you can join me. All right, and we'll get fit together <sighs> and stay strong together, because we're a team, right? You're here, I'm here. <sighs> We're gonna give it all we got. Woo! Good, let's just do some arms, hip circles. Good, how are you feeling? Feeling whooped? Feeling tired? Woo, hips a little, a little bit tight. Good job. Excellent work, man, that was tough. 15 seconds only of rest time for the entire workout. That in itself can be a challenge, especially when it's cardio, let's just stretch that spine out a little bit, hinge again. And again, if you're interested in the push-up challenge or other challenges, it takes me a little bit of time to get them out, but once they're out, you can print them off or download it, whatever you'd like, off of my website. And then you can follow it along within the two weeks. They're two weeks long. All right, 12 workouts in two weeks. All right, so if you're following in real time, right, 
I post about a couple times a week, so you're not getting the same volume and frequency, or, or in the same amount of time, I should say. So, but otherwise, that's it for today. Till next time, stay strong, stay tough.